CEO at Sound Planning Group. Good afternoon to you, David. How are you feeling about the market overall? Well, great to be with you. Um, you know, the, the the market's doing what it what it does. We get these uh, these these headline reads, and then things begin to rally. Doesn't matter that we started out Monday with the highest VIX spike. Uh, that we've seen in a long time. In fact, there's only three times we really saw significant increases like this before. And, uh, you know, and everything goes off to the races again here. So, I don't know, I kind of feel like, uh, you know, maybe like Bernie Madoff's giving me like my financial uh, performance on everything. And I don't know how, how good I feel about the numbers that are kind of coming out when headlines are consistently off and revisions are there, but, you know, we don't make adjustments relative to these revisions. So I just think the data is going to be catching up with us at some point, although we might see a melt up as we're, Looking at this week, uh, that uh, that might last for a well, couple of months. We're in an election year, after all. So, do you feel like the market's running a little too hot? You called it a melt up, like we saw this week. I mean, this was the best week of the year, right? The Nasdaq's a five and a half percent this week. Do you feel like it was too much? You, are you worried we might see a pullback next week, or just volatility? Well, you know, expectations uh, through fundamental valuation said that we should be getting about seven percent you know, from the S&P this year. Um, I've got portfolios that are in the high 20s right now. And so, you know, that are they're comparing to the S&P. And so we've way outperformed what expectations were. So are we overvalued? I mean, technically, uh, we if we have major pullbacks, we hit essentially what valuation was supposed to be. So, um, you know, things have run hard. Uh, they, they're at the top. I do think that we're seeing some rotation right now, specifically to uh, safer places. Um, I think that uh, that there's a lot of people today that are uh, concerned uh, because they saw the volatility go up on Monday. They're concerned that uh, things are getting a, a little bit long here. They're concerned about all the volatility that we saw in July with, you know, presidential debates, assassination attempts, Kamala Harris getting a whole new, you know, like look on, on the internet, et cetera. So she's you know, now some some new individual. Um, the uh, uh, you know, it's almost like we're not paying attention. Um, there's a lot that's taking place right now, and I think that the average consumer definitely recognizes that their check's not going nearly as far anymore. And that's why Walmart, you know, had such an amazing week this week. Uh, but you know, places like Starbucks uh, that uh, that that have otherwise seen you know great strength and people go in there consistently for their coffee, uh, they they saw some pullbacks along with Home, Home Depot. So uh, that's telling me that the consumer is getting a, a little bit stale here, and um, I uh, I'm concerned that uh, that's 70 percent of our GDP. And you're concerned about the rotation into some of the safe havens that you said bonds may not be as safe as you once thought. Um, and what is that about? What what is it that you mean specifically? Okay, so, you know, if we look at uh, junk bonds specifically, uh, junk bonds, I don't even think that the, the premium that they're paying is even close to the risk that's actually there right now. Uh, just think about it like this. If you can't make it as a corporation uh, at 4 and 5% rates, how in the world are you going to make it when credit gets tight or liquidity is less uh, at 7, 8, 9, 10% rates? Uh, you know, even even with the U.S. government right now, uh, our, 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 our third highest uh, expense today is our treasury debt. Uh, you show me any company where their their expenses for interest rates uh, to keep their business going is a third or, or the third highest thing. I'm going to tell you that this is an organization that's going to be going out of business very soon. And uh, and that's a scary reality. Of course, with the United States, we get to print money. And uh, we've got, you know, the world's reserve currency and asset class. Uh, but businesses do not have this. Families do not have this. And uh, this is a scary moment for, for those that don't know what to do uh, and find themselves without, uh, without a lot of options. Right. Understood. I mean, when you think about what investors should do, you know, versus shouldn't do, tell me a little bit about what they should do. What, what kind of sectors or specific names might be working all the mag seven or higher this week? So for all the worrying there, tell me a little bit about where you think it might be uh, headed. Okay, so I've got 30 different portfolios. Um, I'm gonna just share with you that I believe that we should be taking a pause right now on the mag seven. Um, not to say that these companies aren't going to continue to lead in different ways. I do think that there's going to be some different uh, leadership and there might be some stalls and, and whatnot here because they've grown so much. Um, the, uh, uh, the opportunities are, are right now in metals, in my opinion. We're looking at gold at over 2,500 here today, so it's at an all-time high. I'm going to mention, again, silver is at a 40% discount to this. Uh, so that is a massive opportunity, in my opinion. 
um, the, uh, the the miners are likely the way to play uh, these going forward. So you know, a couple uh, of names uh, uh, like HL, uh, Rio Tinto. Yeah. Uh, are, are, are names in mining that I personally think are good, but you can you can do great with an index as well and leverage somebody else's expertise in finding names. Um, I think healthcare's got a lot of great opportunities as well, especially because AI is bringing some innovation in. And so, um, you know, as, as I'm looking at, uh, at different healthcare names today, um, I have a, uh, a name for you that's uh, Veritex Pharmaceuticals, VRTX. Um, you know, this organization is is an innovator in what are specifically like uh, significant um, uh, issues that people are dealing with. And they're trying to find, you know, sort of the needle in the haystack. AI is really going to improve their efficacy uh, in, in this, I believe. Now, there's no dividend in this particular player, uh, but their profit margin, uh, net profit margin is 38.5%. So I think that that's a very healthy operating expense ratio. Uh, and I think that yeah. uh, that innovation is really leading leading them in the right way uh, for that. And, and then the Rio Tinto as well is gonna do well with AI because they're really an accumulator of different projects and they put teams uh, in the mix of it, but they got a 6.2% dividend right now. And so I think that's a great name with a 21.5% uh, uh, net margin profit. Uh, so, you know, these are these are a couple of names I think are, are, are solid. Um, you know, you're certainly going to be seeing, you know, the treasuries uh, being okay places to go right now, specifically on the short side. Um, you know, on the long yeah. side, as we're seeing the rates come down, that's going to that's going to see some numbers, too. But here's where here's where I have the biggest concern. And, and I apologize for taking a second quite, to say quite, this. Quite. Um, yeah. And that is this. Um, when we continue to print like this, I believe that it's putting um, our credibility as the world's reserve asset at risk. And I believe that the 10 year Treasury is, is being questioned right now. That's part of the reason why gold is as high as it is. And so that's a big concern for us because we have the printing press and our wealth is essentially based on this fact. Um, so anyway, you, you could, we'll, we'll continue to watch these things develop. Nothing's today. Yeah, look, the national debt is a, a big story here as well. So we'll continue to follow that. So I got your, your picks. You had Hecla Mining, and that's in the silver realm. Rio Tinto, you like the AI play there uh, with Rio Tinto and Vertex Pharma with the innovation. Thank you. David Strzewski, CEO at Sound Planning Group.